pleasure, of course, again, to, to be speaking to you. Uh, uh, the champion of the electrification sort of journey, uh, I would say, uh, and LinkedIn and elsewhere. But uh, uh, we are announcing uh, the location of our Giga America project. Uh, it is going to be in Coeta County in Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. We have secured a very large uh, acreage there, a prime uh, industrial acreage, all regulated and ready to go where we're going to build our Giga America facility and or I would say Giga America facilities. Wow. Uh, wow. First step of this is going to be an almost identical, identical replica of Giga Arctic. So it's going to be a 34 gigawatt hour, $1.7 billion project. Uh, ultimately, we will build, be building more phases of this, uh, including potentially upstream and downstream modules to the battery cell manufacturing facility. Uh, we will at least be spending more than $2.6 billion in the state, uh, probably generate more than 720 jobs for the battery cell manufacturing facilities alone, and the opportunity to expand goes way beyond that. Uh, we'll also be looking at um, how to ensure we can have renewable energy powering our facilities, because we aim to produce clean battery solutions also in the United States. Of course, the core catalyst for the energy transition is the battery uh, kind of component and it doesn't really make sense if we produce batteries using non-renewable energy and it definitely doesn't make sense if we charge these batteries with non-renewable energy and therefore we are taking advantage of and focusing our efforts now very strongly on the energy storage mm. segment and producing batteries that uh, are fit for purpose for 20-year life uh, ESS applications. Yep. Uh, the main market in this regard, or the fastest growing and largest market in this regard in the world today, is in the United States. So we have deep uh, customer interest in ensuring localized supply of these batteries. Uh, and we see accelerating interest in participating with us in Giga America from a broad variety of household names on the industrial front. This is something that we will come back to in due course. We are now moving into detailed engineering and design of the actual facility. We're obviously replicating and creating or using the blueprints from our Giga Arctic facility, but it needs to be contextualized in, in the region in which it's going to be built. Yes. So, big day for us, um, wow. replicating what we're doing in Norway. Uh, in parallel with all of this, Roger, we are uh, intensifying our financing efforts. Uh, of course, all of this needs to be financed in some way. We went public on the New York Stock Exchange in July last year, as you might recall. Uh, and we have initiated a large project finance process for a Giga Arctic. Now we are taking steps to complement that to ensure that we can move at pace. And part of the reason why we are moving faster in the US is the introduction of the Inflation Reduction Act. I was going to say it's got to be, that's got to be part of the catalyst to this. So significance in many aspects of what you've shared with us there. Thank, thank you for that. Definitely that this isn't just about electric vehicles. It is about energy storage for sure. It is about having, um, uh, making it, you know, our own industry in uh, Europe and, and the Americas and, and not just replication of, of what's happened in China, you know, Asia, good as that is, but this is progress. Um, and, and I think, you know, I, I might have thought maybe even three months ago, certainly before the in Inflation Reduction Act, you know, focus on what you're doing, Giga Arctic, do that first. But I completely understand why you've now got, and there is momentum, particularly in America, so I think you're striking while the iron is hot, and I can fully understand that. And I'm sure what you're going to do subsequently is learn a lot from America, and that will come back into you know, Giga Arctic and vice versa. So they're very complementary, aren't they? No, no question. Uh, and, and bear in mind, Roger, that uh, the technology that we're taking to gigawatt hour scale in Giga Arctic is a US-based technology, 24M technology. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the semi-solid production platform. Uh, it's fundamentally designed to cater for what batteries are now being used for, i.e. larger devices such as electric vehicles and large containerized storage devices. So it's fundamentally uh, a much cheaper uh, technology uh, in terms of uh, lower capital expenditures, uh, much lower energy consumption, much lower footprint in the production of it. We can produce three times as much batteries per employee, etc. So we're trying to, you know, uh, adapt to one what the industry needs and two competing uh, based on a set of differentiated factors with with new technology and so on. 
So 20 RAM technology is a big part of the equation. Uh, we have created a blueprint and we're getting ready to start up our initial industrial scale production line in our customer qualification plant in Moirama in a couple of months time. Uh, so then we're replicating that in Giga Arctic and basically just producing eight of those production lines into a larger industrial system. And it's from an engineering point of view and from a replication point of view, this is reasonably straightforward. I'm not, I'm not saying that to be coy or, or to sort of assume that this is simple, but principally that is what we're doing. We're replicating yeah. what we're doing in Norway in a different location. Yeah. And then we need to complement that with, um, let's call it competitive financing, which of course is linked to signing up sufficient customers for the different facilities. But here's kind of the, uh, uh, the upshot on it. There is no lack of demand. No, demand no, is going just, through the roof I was just about uh, across, across I don't you know, all verticals. That's going to be your challenge. But the other thing I like about all this is, because you know I know Norway reasonably well in terms of the electric vehicle revolution. And, uh, you know, Christina Boo and the, the EV Association and all of that journey that's happened okay, within Norway, but what you're now doing is exporting that talent, knowledge, know-how, passion, I suppose I could argue money really, in the, in the, you know, Norway has been a very successful energy enterprise in many ways from the past, hydrocarbons admittedly, but now in the future becoming, you could argue, a renewable energy superpower, you know, and it's a small country, you know, how many million, five, six million people was population? Correct. And, and eight, nearly a billion on the planet. So, do you know what? Hats off to Norway. Good luck to you. This is amazing news. Thank you. We have secured more than 100 gigawatt hours worth of customer demand. Many of the largest OEMs in the world are very interested to sort of partner with us for the batteries that we produce. And the main thing that we really want to do is to build the cleanest batteries on the planet. But they also need to be financially sustainable, meaning that they need to be cost competitive and how we're going to do that. We're going to build facilities in Norway initially, and we're going to build them in an area where energy is dirt cheap and green. And that is a big part of the equation when you produce batteries, but it's also a big part of the equation when you produce active materials going into the batteries themselves.